Hi, my name is Tim McKeown, and I am a TV writer and producer for kids' shows. I co-created a show for PBS Kids called Odd Squad, where I was head writer, and I created a show for Sesame Workshop and Apple TV Plus called Helpsters, where I was also head writer. I've also written on shows I did not create, like uh, Adventure Time, Gravity Falls, Hilda, and Sesame Street, which I'm hoping some of you have heard of. Uh, I'm here because my friends at 826 National have asked me to make video for their Write Your Way Forward campaign. The thing I love most about my job as a TV writer is working with other writers. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm working on my own if I'm writing a TV pilot, which is the first episode of a TV show. But when I'm in production on a series, more often than not, I'm working with other writers. And so, um, you know, we're in the, when we're in the middle of production, we're uh, meeting every day and sharing ideas and uh, helping each other kind of, it's called breaking a story, which is uh, trying to figure out the major beats or moments in a story. And then um, we're all just sort of helping and supporting each other. So, you know, if I write a draft, even if I'm the boss and I'm the head writer, I write a draft and I share it to all the writers and they give me their thoughts and they write a draft and I share my thoughts. And so the goal is to all work together and try to make the best thing possible. One of the tricks with TV writing is you have to have this balance between your voice and your vision and then also being open to other people's feedback and giving yourself like just creating a space for other people's creativity, right? Because the goal, at least for me, the goal is to make the best product possible. And I believe that uh, I like having a loud voice and I like having my ideas um, on screen and getting to audiences but i i love when someone thinks of a joke or a, a story idea or a setting or something that i feel like oh i i was a long way from thinking of that or maybe i couldn't have even thought of that right like that's the best is that you're all helping each other get to better ideas and i have also found that the more ownership and the more i've let other people's voices shine the better the show is and the more invested those people are too. I think that's really the job as a TV writer. It's to come up with uh, a voice and a vision and uh, almost create a blueprint, right? For everybody and then allow space for everyone to contribute all their creative ideas. I was a huge reader and English was my favorite subject. And I, you know, in high school, I wrote a lot of short stories with, st and, and then I acted in a lot of plays and towards the end of high school, I had, um, you know, I went to public high school, but I had some great teachers and there was an opportunity to write your own play. And so I did that with a couple of friends and it was just so wonderful and joyful. And then I continued that in college. I was writing little plays and putting them up. And, and then basically I realized I hit a ceiling with my acting abilities. <laughs> I took these classes at this improv school called the Groundlings out here in LA. And I realized I was writing scenes, a lot of my, much more talented friends were writing scenes for them to star in. And I was writing scenes for everyone else to star in because I was frustrated at my lack of acting ability. So that's where I really kind of um, left acting behind and really pursued writing. There's two phases to being a screenwriter. There's the phase one, which is getting a show made. So you have an original idea and you're just trying to convince somebody to buy it and make it. And then there's phase two, which is they've bought it and you're making it and then you're in production. So phase one is kind of more the solitary phase. It's a little, it feels a little bit more like novel writing. You're sort of alone working on things and sharing. I, first of all, you have a sales pitch, right? But you're sharing it with whoever is involved in the show. It's probably um, whatever network or streamer it's premiering on. And then once you've got your first episode or a couple of scripts, then you go into production. Um, so the first part is really solitary, just sort of writing and sending in drafts and so forth. Uh, and you might produce a pilot, which part you'd have, you're just doing like a mini version of the show. And then phase two is um, making the show. So it's, I mean, the, th the part about writing is uh, we always say we're the first to get hired and the first to get fired. <laughs> so you come on first, It's it all starts with the script, right? So you can't do anything without uh, the premise, which is usually a paragraph or so, and then an outline, which is, depending on the length of the show, a few pages. And then there's a script. Um, and so the goal is to get the script and do a bunch of revisions, make sure you're happy with it, and then you move into production. 
uh, and that's where you're trying to make the script producible. And like I said before, you're trying to uh, make space for everyone else's creativity and great ideas.